If you want to take your long distance relationship to the next level, this video is for you. With these smart bracelets, you can send love signals to each other from anywhere in the world. You can customize this bracelet and add your own features to surprise your loved one. It might seem a bit complicated, but if you watch my last six videos, you will get a clear idea of how to design a smartwatch or a smart bracelet. Before starting the video, I want to share a few things with you guys. In part 6, I use the Blink IoT application to control the vibration motor on the smart bracelet and display the counter value on the gauge in the application. But when I tried to use two crow panel displays, the Blink application failed to communicate with both of them. It could only connect to one bracelet at a time. My idea was to use the Blink application as a bridge between the two bracelets, but after trying for two to three hours, I couldn't make it work. If you know how to do this, please let me know in the comments. So I switched to UV dots and it worked in less than two hours. Now I'm using the UV dots IoT platform as a bridge between the two smart bracelets. With this setup, I can control both bracelets directly from the UV dots dashboard. If you don't want to use the dashboard, that's fine too. The two bracelets can exchange love signals directly without needing to open the UV dots dashboard. I will explain this in more detail later in this video. In addition to love signals, you can also monitor the counter value. All the other features are the same as I explained in part 6. The counter value is still saved in non-volatile memory and the reset button works exactly the same way. The only difference is that instead of the Blink application, I'm using the UV Dots IoT platform and I have already explained why. I'm sure this video will teach you a lot. If you have any ideas, feel free to share them with me in the comments. So without any further delay, let's get started. Earlier there was only one smartwatch or smart bracelet on one side. So I kept all the files in one project folder. But this time there will be a smart bracelet on both sides. So that's why I made two separate folders. One for the boy and one for the girl. You can download these two folders and the images along with the Arduino code and UI files from my Patreon page. So let's start with the boy's bracelet. In part 6, I added two more screens, screen 4 and screen 5 for the long distance couples. To keep things simple for you, I decided to continue with the same project. To import the image, click the add file into assets and select the girl.png image. You can see the image has been added in the assets. Next, select the screen 4 and then on the inspector tape, go to the background and select the girl.png image. You can see the image has been changed. You need to follow the same steps for the girl's side smart bracelet as well. Anyway, after adding the image, you have to save the project and then export the UI files. Now, go to the UI files folder, copy all the files and then paste them into the Arduino's project folder. Then go ahead and open the Arduino file. Follow the same steps for the girl side. This is the program for the boy smart bracelet. And this is the program for the girl smart bracelet. Both codes are exactly the same except for these four variables. You can download these programs from my website electronicclinic.com. If you want the complete project folder, you can visit my Patreon page and download it from there. First, let's change the LV color 16 swap from 0 to 1 and then we will start with the UV Dots IoT platform. This is the dashboard of my previous project in which I explained how to perform two-way communication between the ESP32 and UV dots. In that project, I explained how to monitor a sensor and control a 110 or 220 volt AC bulb. I made that project with the purpose of explaining the most basic things like how to install the ESP32 board and which libraries you need to install for UV dots. Today, we'll go through all the steps again with only one difference. This time, we are using two ESP32 controllers whereas previously we used a single ESP32 board. So I highly recommend watching that video first and then resuming from here. 
Anyway, let's go ahead and create a new dashboard for long distance couples. Go to the data menu and then click on the dashboards. On the left side, you can see these three lines. Click on these lines. Click the create button to add a new dashboard. Let's name it long distance couples. Let's keep everything else to their default values. Once you learn the basics, then you can come back and play with all these properties. Anyway, let's click the save button. Our long distance couples dashboard is ready. Now go to the devices menu and click on devices. Click the plus button to create a new device. Click on blank device. Now go to the Arduino program and copy the device label couples and paste it in the two boxes. The device label should exactly match the device label set in the Arduino code. Once the device name and device label are set, then click the next button. You can see a new device with the name couples has been created. Let's open this device. Right now there are zero variables because I have not yet uploaded the program into the ESP32 because I needed this token. So let's copy this token and paste it in the two programs next to the UV dots token. Now let's upload the programs. Both the programs have been uploaded. Let's refresh the page. Now you can see the two counter variables for the boy and girl. This means the two smart bracelets successfully connected to the UV dots. Now, if I go back to the UV dots and refresh the page, the remaining variables will also appear. You can use these variables with different types of widgets for monitoring the counters and for controlling the vibration motors on the two smart bracelets. So let's do it. In the previous tutorial, I have already explained how to add widgets and assign variables. So I think there is no need to explain anything. Our dashboard is ready and now let's watch this in action.
I hope you all like the idea of the smart bracelets. I will add more features to these smart bracelets. If you have any ideas in your mind, you can tell me in the comments. So that's all for now. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode. And thanks for watching.